Mindy from My Time for Change. Uh, we're, and this is Emma of Emma Wilson Fitness and My Time for Change. And we're joined today by Emma Guy of Acupuncture That Works. We're really excited to have you on board today. Um, so what we wanted to do today is talk specifically about managing um, energy and uh, chi. And one of the great ways of doing that is obviously uh, through acupuncture um, and from our point of view, from my through my time for change, and both will talk about that a bit more. Um, first of all, Emma Guy, would you like to? I'm going to get confused by the way because there are two Emmas, so we are <laughs> very formal with Emma Guy and Emma Wilson. Um, Emma Guy, w would you like to sort of just introduce your business and why you've gone into acupuncture and yeah, just a little bit about yourself, really? Yeah, um, first of all, thank you for um, the invitation. And um, my name's Emma Guy. I run the Acupuncture That Works Clinic in Northwich. I started my journey in acupuncture uh, probably about five, 15, 16 years ago. Um, I went through a pregnancy and about shortly after I had William, my son, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis where your bowels become ulcerated and when I look back now I understand why because I was in a very stressful job a high set um, had a sales target of 10 million pounds my dad was dying of cancer um, I just had a little boy and um, trying to you know to juggle everything was um, was uh, um, quite stressful and when I was diagnosed with that, I was obviously given lots of Western medicine to use. And I kind of used that for a few years. And then one uh, bout of the colitis actually got so bad that my consultant said, take some time off. And, and I thought, no, I'll never take any time off. I'm like a workaholic. I'm a perfect mom. I can juggle everything. And you know, it does, as we all know, it doesn't happen like that. Um, so I went through my, my uh, health journey very quickly because a week off work ended up being um, a whole year off work and um, I selfishly started a biomedicine course at Manchester University and um, unfortunately I couldn't finish it because I was poorly but it was actually somebody on the course that said try acupuncture and I was like yeah whatever mumbo jumbo you know modern day voodooism and stuff like that and, and it kind of got me thinking and then all of a sudden I thought you know what it's worth a try and I went to see an acupuncturist in the October and by the February I'd gone into remission and um, touch what I've been in remission now for 10 years and seven years off all the steroids and lifelong drugs so um, so that's kind of where I started and, and because of my journey into acupuncture I actually fell in love with acupuncture and I just thought wow everybody needs this in their life and even my consultant was like wow, you know, what's happened? Um, but the only thing I've done differently was put acupuncture into my life. Wow, amazing. amazing. Preaching to the converted here, I'm a massive fan uh, anyway, and uh, you, you, t you tend to find it because of your own journey. I found it because of mine. But so, yeah, it is just a wonderful, uh, a wonderful treatment. So, so the business that you've created is called Acup Acupuncture That Works. So yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I started off um, with one day a week in clinic and over the years, um, so I started in 2011, I qualified as a, 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 immediately as soon as I went into remission, I thought I need to learn more about this. So um, I qualified in 2011 as a, um, an acupuncturist and acupuncture that works was uh, born really from my advertising and marketing background as well was what do you type into Google and Google was, you know, does acupuncture work? So that's kind of where the name came from. And um, so we've been uh, running now for nine years. Um, I have a team of practitioners now which have multidisciplines. So not just acupuncture from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, but we have phys physi uh, physiotherapy, reflexology, Reiki and massage as well. So, um, so we have a, a very, um, like I say, multidisciplinary team. Um, that it's a kind of one-stop well-being shop. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Um, so, Emma, do you want to just give us an overview of you know where, where you've come from and your background and what My Time for Change is all about? Yeah, so Emma Wilson Fitness was born out of 
uh, me also wanting to have a complete change of career after basically burning myself out but you're not realizing what was burning me out so yeah a stressful pressured IT job um, that I didn't really like it's just that you fall into these things and things change and you don't realize what you're doing but then I, I got injured um, I'd always played uh, hockey, always played sport, got injured and was debilitated really. My back was so bad that it, it kind of just stopped me in my tracks. So I um, had a number of years feeling angry, bitter and twisted <laughs> that the fact that my body couldn't do what it, what it did. And I stumbled on acupuncture um, and within, well, not long after being debilitated for years, I was on my feet and wanting to get back into feeling like myself again so it was once I'd had my daughter so 15 years ago that I said right okay I need to go back and do what I love I need to because I'd rehabilitated myself through um through fitness um so that's when I retrained and um got back got into fitness um that evolved over the last since 2006 or so and then my time for change was born out of another change that was happening to me I was still doing all my fitness um, but my body was changing me again and I think because I've been so aware of my own uh, my own body my own mental health and um, I was just aware that something was changing so I looked into uh, this was about six years ago how I could help myself with um, with nutrition um, because I wasn't doing anything different, but I was changing and I was feeling different. So I looked into it and then three years later, um, I launched that out to my, my client base because they kept asking me what I'd done. And I didn't feel I'd done very much, but it, you, you forget what you've learned. And all I wanted to do and all I still want to do is impart that knowledge and share that knowledge with other people so that they can then make informed decisions and just, just go about things a bit smarter without feeling deprived, denied, and just to feel the best version of themselves, which is so cliche. Um, so yeah, and then in January, Mindy and I joined forces. Um, we renamed my nutritional wellbeing program, My Time for Change, for a number of reasons, um, but nothing changed about it really, just the name and the fact that there's now two of us in that element. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it really, I think. So I joined My Time for Change, I joined forces as Emma because I'd had uh, great success joining Emma's program in September 2018. Um, I absolutely love and believe in what Emma's created in terms of nutrition, well-being um, and movement. Um, so I, we joined forces so that we could hopefully help more women um, feel the best versions of themselves. And it, it's really important to us to offer a holistic approach to that as well hence obviously wanting to sort of talk to yourself i'm a guy you know about acupuncture that works and you know and how how as a as a sort of a group body if you want to be and we can help women feel absolutely amazing obviously i appreciate that your acupuncture that works is for men as well but i'm just coming from the point of view of um i know as a woman how amazing you know, the sort of holistic uh, sort of approach to everything makes you feel. Um, so um, today we've all been in lockdown now for um, a good few weeks, going into months now. Um, so something that I think in general life, um, managing energy and chi is, is challenging in itself uh, with all the different hats that we all have to wear and our different roles in life. But I think during these last few weeks, it's certainly, it's been more challenging, although, you know, people are going through different experiences during lockdown for whatever their, um, you know, whatever situation they've been put into, certainly managing energy through all of this change and constant change that has been a, a huge challenge in itself. So I know that um, Emma Guy, you were going to sort of talk about how acupuncture can um, help manage energy and uh, chi so i don't know if i can hand over yeah. to you talk more about that yeah so um how i describe um energy and chi is um 
I was taught traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture and the first year, we were taught over two to three years and the first year is all about diagnosis and the theory of traditional Chinese medicine um, and um, how I describe qi and energy, I try and describe it in a very western way because we live in a western world even though I'm taught from an eastern point of view. Um, and how I describe this, each cell in your body has ATP, which is energy, and each cell is connected to each other, so that in Western terms is called connective tissue. Now from an Eastern medicine point of view, what happens to these energy cells, they create an energy pathway, and that is the chi and the energy that sits within your body. So these pathways are called things, uh, they're called channels or meridians, but they're called um, names after certain organs in your body. So the stomach channel, the spleen channel, the kidney channel. Um, and certainly from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, what happens to the chi, um, is it gets blocked it's a bit like acupuncture is a bit like unblocking drains that's how i explain it to you you know patients is you know when there's pain or illness it means that your chi has been blocked in some way um, and in traditional chinese medicine terms that chi and that energy gets blocked in mainly in two ways the first is externally so that could be weather based so it could be um, hot cold wind rain damp we tend to see a lot more arthritis things when it's damp so it kind of makes sense from a weather point of view and um, certainly from an external of a break a fall an operation something that is externally happened and brought, brought, brought in that blockage of chi and then the other reason is internally is a is emotions happy sad worry grief anxiety stress and gosh you know over the last nine years there isn't one patient that i have seen certainly the team that we actually see a bit of both and when we're thinking and we're talking about lockdown and as each week goes by those emotions that roller coaster of emotions as well as a physical symptom have been happening not just on a day-to-day -day, sometimes on an hourly basis with some people depending on you know what the briefing is or you know it just it, it's um so that's kind of how in nutshell it works you probably heard of yin and yang yin is cold yang is hot so if you're too yang we use yin if you're too yin you use yang so basic principles <laughs> that's fantastic that's, it, is, it is really fascinating so in, in terms of um, if you if you felt something then in, in a way that you perhaps wanted to get some relief from then you would come to get acupuncture and you'd be able to sort of review what maybe where where you needed to home in on is that, is that right is that how it works yeah there's some um... On average, there's about 500 points all over the body, so that's why we go to college for nearly three years. So, um, um, however, what happens is when you are um, in a consultation, we do a full Chinese consultation, we will do a pulse and tongue diagnosis, but also the words that are coming back to you give you a, a prescription or a protocol that you would use in certain terms. So, but from a day-to-day -day basis, we could see anything from backs to hot flushes, to headaches, to stress, anxiety, to um, self-harming, to, I mean, you know, the, 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 there's literally, the main points is 365 points because there's one for everything that ever happens to you throughout a day. So if you can imagine that, you know, if you've got a cough or a cold, there's a point for that, you know, so yeah. Fantastic, it's really interesting. Um, so Emma Wilson from, from my time for change point of view, obviously during during lockdown, I think, as I mentioned, there's a, a certain depletion of energy levels. Um, during life, I think we could probably talk from a female point of view, you do definitely feel like you're depleted of, uh, of energy on a regular basis because of all the different roles that you're required to fulfill and, and sometimes finding Finding yourself amongst all of that is quite difficult, but how, how, how can my time for change help in terms of managing your energy levels? I think, well, the first thing to say is that my time for change isn't a fat club. 
it's not about being on a diet and it's not just for people who want to lose weight. Most people, or most women, um, would always like to see something improved and would always kind of have something to say about our body part, but certainly um, that's probably why initially somebody would, would think, oh, I'll, I'll try that. But I look at things from a holistic perspective too, so I'm looking at, um, at things at a cellular level. So all the things you've talked about, looking at what the cell is doing, how then that impacts how we, every organ is impacted by our digestion, Ourselves. But with that comes a lot of westernised foods and beliefs and we're led to believe that certain things are really helpful and actually they're not that helpful in terms of, we want to better with clogging up, so you might use the word blockage but they're clogging up our, our system so our body isn't able to be as efficient as perhaps it, it could be and all of those, um, all of our hormones are affected. So cortisol, adrenaline, uh, insulin, to name a few, um, the sleep hormone, leptin, there's loads of hormones. So I look at the body holistically, but from a hormonal point of view. And when people say hormones, everybody straight away goes, oh, that must be women, that doesn't apply to me. That must be, I don't mean the sex hormones. I mean, every hormone, every chemical messenger we get. Um, and so it's, and, and it's not about doing one size fits all so the more somebody can tell me about themselves the more then you find out and you start with one thing it could be that they've come for fat loss but actually when you uncover everything there's something else going on so then you eat for that and actually all of a sudden the fat loss happens anyway because actually you've got to the underlying part so so that's where my time for change comes in but obviously i am not an acupuncturist but i know how wonderful acupuncture is so there's only so much something will do before you then go well actually i'd like to do that or use that to complement that because i've worked on that now that's really good and i wonder if this can help and so it's really lovely then to be able to go to somebody else who has the same belief the same passion the same desire to be treating somebody from within to then actually the way that you live and the way that you behave and everything doesn't become something forced anymore you stop thinking about maybe the anxiety and the and, you, and somebody then has to remind you oh do you remember when you and you go oh yeah got that that's gone and you, you don't really think about and, and you know, nothing's perfect we all have our down days we all have our anxiety but you, your, your coping mechanisms for that are much better. I don't know that that's that very interesting because we, we, I talk a lot to my patients about blends of treatments and, you know, to find exercise and nutrition and acupuncture or acupuncture and physiotherapy or massage or, you know, it, it's, it's all about that. And when, from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, we can actually call it stagnation of qi. So when you were saying it kind of made, it's all very, very, exactly the same really, but we call it the free flow of qi. And if you can get the free flow of qi, then you've got a healthy body and a healthy mind. Yeah, and, and, and that's exactly right, because we treat our body, but we abuse them, don't we, really? We expect them just to carry on regardless. So we expect them to be able to cope with whatever we try. And they probably did when we were 15, 20, 25, 30. We could probably get away with it, and then all of a sudden things become a lot a lot harder, and it's a bit like not servicing a car or not putting the right stuff into a car, and eventually it's going to get a bit sluggish. Um, and it'll still go. <laughs> you'll have some good days with it, and other days you'll come to it and go, oh, that's not really good. And the same with the body. So the body is a machine, ultimately. Um, but, it, but it can be helped so much by um, movement and food, but without anything silly. So my type of change is just about, is about real food. Nothing's denied, nothing's banned. Um, I'm not into really fuzzy stuff. Yeah, and I, I just, I think um, the whole, the whole. I mean, it's taken me until I'm 45 to discover, like, 
I suppose I, what I always say is like who I'm supposed to be and I it's that it's that um, health and vitality and happiness that you can't believe you've waited until you're 45 to find um, and that's you know and it's really exciting to to obviously have discovered Emma Wilson and, and the My Time for Change program but then it's it's as exciting to then add on you know the fact that you know, I know I'm going to be adding myself to your list for acupuncture that works. I've never had acupuncture, I've tried other things, but this is where you become more confident in actually there are other things that you can do to help yourself and, you know, discover about yourself. And that's what is really exciting about all, all of this. Enhance all the time. So you're just, you're just adding on another layer of whatever and sometimes you know things might drop off and you might forget to do something you think well actually I've not done that for a while I should go back to that um so yeah it's you know do everything not all at the same time necessarily, but you know keep an open mind is what I would say to to most people don't kind of automatically think because normally we do stuff because we've been told it and you then believe uh, well, it and you well, yourself and where you just thought, oh, it, acupuncture was voodoo this, and then it's, 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 it's really interesting when I do have patients, and I still have patients that come to me three, four years later that actually are still sceptical whether the acupuncture is working or not. I've got one gentleman who comes to, who came initially for um, a migraine, and, and, um, he, he he still comes and still skeptical but I kind of get it as well from from a holistic point of view because you kind of go really how does that work you know and and it still amazes me when I get a lady back in you know it says oh, I've not had a hot flush overnight or I've, you know my back pain's gone you know what, what did you do you know and and it still amazes me because I know it does work and it's just finding like I said before that blend of things that actually helps you and be the better you as well you know um, I had one patient a few years ago that after their first session um, she got in the car and she said she rolled the windows down and went woohoo as if like she'd found something that was amazing you know and, and she, said, she said I still see her today so yeah and that, and that, that yeah. is what's funny. How Mindy felt. <laughs> it is it is and that's how I'll always describe it I've I found who I'm supposed to be and it's it's frustrating that it's taken me until I'm 45 now 46 to find who I'm supposed to be but then it, it but I found it so hey I mean hopefully now I'm looking after myself uh, we know and, and I will continue to and then obviously try acupuncture and you know different things as well then you know I, I can be who I'm supposed to be and have lots of fun and feel healthy you know in, in these ways and that's what's really exciting so the important thing is we need to know obviously how we find acupuncture that works so what's your website and your social media links and everything so you'll be able to find us on all social media platforms we've got facebook page instagram and uh, twitter and um, but if you type in acupuncture that works you will find me because you're really good on your SEO and your rankings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially the long tail ones. <laughs> um, and Emma Wilson? Uh, yeah, it's Emma Wilson Fitness on all the platforms. Uh, it's Emma Wilson Fitness One on Instagram and mytimeforchange.co.uk and mytimeforchange2020 on, on all the other platforms. Um, and yeah, just. Uh, it's just lovely to be able to it's actually lockdown has given us this opportunity to just explain a bit more about our businesses which potentially you might people you'd assume people knew um although they they perceive it to be something very very different but yeah it's um the, the, the people i've had down on the courses throughout lockdown haven't noticed it's lockdown as much as what they're telling me without it um, they would have struggled so, so I think that they've found a happy energetic vibrant either lost weight or stay the same in my, in my mind is winning in lockdown but also the key, the key thing with my time for change I think what it's given people that are, are in isolation is community 
that's really important, isn't it? More than anything else is that connection with humans. Um, so that that that's been great. And and I you know just meeting yourself, Emma, guy, and you know that and getting to know your business is that this is where lockdown has had many benefits. And I do look forward to coming for acupuncture when uh, Emma. When, when do you Emma guy? When do you propose to be open? Is it early July? Is it? Well, we, our governing body uh, agreed that we can open up from June for emergencies only. Um, so that's a positive and, and I'm, I'm sourcing PPE and stuff like that at the moment. So, um, uh, to, you know, and, and important stuff to reassure people as well from a protocol and a safety, health and safety point of view. Um, we're hoping, fingers crossed, from July, um, but there will still be those safety protocols in place probably till the end of the year. Um, so, but we, I mean, it, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I can't wait to stick needles in people again. <laughs> 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 and make people better. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, well, thank you very much, Emma and Emma, yeah, for joining you. us. Yes, thank you. And thank uh, you. we appreciate it. Thank you very much.